Bloody 72 hours leaves 19 dead across Jamaica. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! 19 murders in the 72 hour period from Friday the 29th of May to Monday the 1st of June pushed the country's murder tally since the start of this year to 550, just three below the same period last year. The bloody weekend started on Friday when 10 people were killed in 24 hours up to Saturday morning. That number included a double murder in Old Darba St. Catherine, where 24 year old Sakona Haynes, better known as Cake Soap, and 21 year old Shamar Blackwood were gunned down by unknown assailants. Chuck Norris Ripton Brown, also called Tesha Miller, was the third victim in St. Catherine on Friday. The 24 year old was fatally shot in Spanish Town. At the same time, a gang feud in the Kingston Western Division claimed another life on Friday, while the St. Andrew South Police Division, where a state of emergency is in place, recorded three more murders. One of the victims had been shot in Olympic Gardens on Thursday and succumbed to his injuries in hospital on Friday. Murders were also recorded in Mandeville, Maypen and Falmouth on Friday. The killings continued on Saturday when five people were gunned down. Saturday's incidents included a shooting in the vicinity of Bay Street on Windward Road in Kingston Eastern, where a female who wasn't identified up to press time was killed. Three other people including an 11-year-old boy were shot in that incident. The gang violence in Kingston Western also claimed another life on Saturday when 47-year-old businessman Simon Thomas of a Tivoli Gardens address was fatally shot. A 50-year-old vendor survived after he was also shot by the gunmen in that incident. Murders in Hayes Clarendon, Stonehill in St. Andrew and Alligator Pond in Manchester marked a bloody Saturday. On Sunday, the body of an unidentified male was found with the feet bound, bruises to the face and blood running from the mouth in Guanabo Vale, St. Catherine in one of four murders recorded for the day. The other victims included 39-year-old auto mechanic Calista Parara, also known as Cal, who was fatally shot near his house in Watson Grove, St. Catherine, and 33-year-old auto spray worker Sheldon Cole, also known as Eminem, who was fatally shot in Red Hills, St. Andrew. The St. Andrew South Police Division, with more than 20 gritty inner-city communities, has recorded 68 murders so far this year despite a long-running state of emergency being in place. The tally of 68 represents just one less than the total murders committed during the corresponding period last year. According to the latest official data from the police, the country's murder total is tracking last year with a less than one percent decline, but all other major crimes have recorded double-digit declines when compared to the corresponding period in 2019. Teach them! Hey yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying until next time. Walk good, my friends.